monetary policy now monetary policy now it is a set of rules through which the central bank controls money supply uh, in the market and promotes economic growth okay so for this video i am going to take the example of india and the central bank for india is rbi reserve bank of india so how it uh, controls money supply that's what uh, and and the terms associated with it uh, that's what i am going to explain so monetary policy happens you know once in two months in uh, in india so once in two months uh, rbi will come up with the monetary pol policy they will check the money supply in the market and accordingly uh, they will uh, you know see in the inflation rate they will uh, increase uh, repo rate or they will decrease repo rate so what is this repo rate all about and the terms associated with it that's what we are going to see okay so first of all let's begin you know with your bank now let's say your bank you are depositing 100 rupees in your bank so now does that mean this bank can you know lend this 100 rupees and start uh, making business out of it no so first of all so there are some rules there are some restrictions for this bank uh, set by the regulator rbi which the bank is supposed to abide by like you know there is a term called crr crr stands for cash reserve ratio cash reserve ratio now what do you mean by this cash reserve ratio under this cash reserve ratio you know uh, uh, say for example cash reserve ratio is 4 percentage let's say so when it is 4 percentage say for example you are depositing 100 rupees in your bank now out of this 100 rupees this 4 percentage that means 4 rupees should be kept with the rbi as cash reserve ratio okay for which uh, rbi will not even pay interest uh, all interest also to the bank okay so rbi will not pay interest on this cash reserve ratio okay so this has to be kept aside with the rbi and then there is something called slr slr stands for statutory liquidity ratio statutory liquidity ratio uh, so here statutory liquidity ratio say for example 20 percentage if i say so 20 rupees you know out of 100 20 will go into slr and 4 will go into crr okay now what do you mean by this slr statutory liquidity ratio statutory liquidity ratio means compulsorily 20 percentage of the deposit has to go into uh, highly liquid instruments which are gold and government securities okay gold and government uh, securities gsec government securities okay so compulsorily your bank is supposed to do this that means uh, that means you know uh, 4 is gone for crr 20 is gone in government securities so remaining they are left out with uh, left out with 76 rupees right so 100 minus 4 minus 20 comes to 76 so this 76 only they can use it for lending and they can make money out of it okay so this is the money supply in the uh, market now okay so somebody can borrow this uh, money and they can do business and when they are doing business they will further you know give this money as salary so initially they are borrowing and then they are giving to somebody as salary and that salary guy will again you know uh, put some money into the bank and uh, and then he will do some spending and then whatever goes into the bank further somebody will come and take loan so that chain uh, you know gets continued and that's how money supply will grow in the market now when this money supply you know goes excess what happens is uh, inflation will go high in the market so when there is more money supply that means more money is chasing the product so when more money is chasing the product when there is more money supply imagine you all are getting jobs and uh, so you all are uh, you know uh, planning to buy your home so when you when you demand homes what happens to the price of the home the price of the home will go up so when the price of the home goes up so price of the home goes up so when the price of the home goes up inflation you know that means inflation is going up so when inflation is going up rbi gets worried okay why rbi gets worried because they are the one who are uh, uh, you know printing uh, currency notes and when inflation goes up the value of the currency comes down so when inflation goes up you know value of the currency comes down value of the currency value of the currency 
comes down correct because because of high inflation the currency will lose out its value right okay say for example initially you know you uh, you know you are buying an apple for 100 rupees and now the apple you know 1 kg apple is 100 rupees and now that 1 kg apple has gone to uh, i mean it has gone to 110 rupees so now the value has come down you have to pay more to get the same you know 1 kg apple okay so that's how inflation is eroding the value of the currency okay so now rbi gets worried now what will the rbi do rbi uh, so they have certain tools to control this inflation so first one which is highly used is you know repo rate repo rate this is very highly used by the rbi repo rate means the rate at which repo rate is the rate the rate at which uh, banks borrow money from RBI, the rate at which banks borrow from borrow money from RBI. Okay, so this rate, you know, RBI will increase this rate. Say for example, let's say example, the rate is six percentage. So RBI will increase it to let's say something like six point five percentage. So when the interest rate in the market, you know, is going up because RBI has increased the rate. So banks are borrowing at the higher rate. When banks are borrowing at the higher rate, they will also lend money at the higher rate. When they are lending money at the higher rate, uh, then what will happen? You know, the interest rate in the market will go up. And when the interest rate in the market is going up, people might then postpone their plan, uh, right? Because otherwise loan will become too expensive they have to pay higher interest rate so people will postpone their plan when post when they are postponing the plan the demand for home will come down and when the demand for home will come down uh, inflation will come down so that's the you know uh, tool that's 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 a tool repo rate they use and this is how they control inflation okay so when the when they hike the repo rate the the lending rate goes up in the market and so the demand for loan comes down and so the price also will cool down okay so other instruments are reverse repo rate reverse repo rate means the rate at which see here banks are borrowing from rbi now reverse repo rate is the rate at which uh, the rate at which uh, rbi borrows rbi borrows uh, from uh, from the banks okay rbi borrows from the banks okay that is called uh, reverse repo rate say for example this is something like you know four percentage let's say this is four percentage now what is this reverse repo rate as in rbi also you know can borrow from the uh, from the banks now why are they doing like this because they will do like this provided you know uh, they want to you know suck out the liquidity from the market so when they want to suck out the liquidity from the market uh, imagine banks are having more and more cash now because they are having more and more cash with them they tend to you know give loans uh, uh, easily uh, to the to the to the borrowers so in order to control that rbi will say like you know they are ready to borrow so when they are borrowing banks will find that attractive because they do not have any uh, any uh, uh, credit risk with RBI, right? So banks can, uh, you know, decide to uh, lend money to RBI, and they can, uh, and this will this will reduce the money supply in the market. Okay, so this way uh, RBI can control money supply. Okay, through reverse repo as well. Then there are some other tools also called as you know OMO. OMO stands for Open Market Operations. Uh, open, then. Uh, open market operations open market operation means buying and selling of bonds okay open market operation means buying and selling of bonds by the rbi so buying and selling of bonds by the rbi okay so rbi can buy, buy and sell bonds in order to control money supply say for example when they buy more bonds okay so when they buy bonds uh, when they buy bonds issued by the bank they will buy bonds issued by the bank so this way 
uh, this way they will bring in more more cash into the system okay because they are buying uh, uh, bonds issued by the uh, uh, issued by the bank okay so that means rbi is investing so this will bring more cash into the system so this will bring this will bring more cash into the system okay similarly when they sell bonds when they sell bonds to the banks so when they sell bonds that means banks will buy okay so bank will give money to the rbi so when they sell bonds to the banks banks will give money to the rbi banks will give money to the rbi and buy bonds and buy bonds so this way this will this will uh, this will reduce the money supply this will reduce the uh, money supply okay fine so these are all some of the tools used by the bank you can check all these in uh, uh, you know a, a online as well you can just if you type something like you know uh, open market operations economic times or business standard you will certainly get you know many articles which will speak about this buying and selling of bonds uh, by the rbi okay so yeah so otherwise this these are all the you know terms associated with money supply overall uh, okay and overall all these are uh, called overall all these are also called as liquidity adjustment facility liquidity liquidity adjustment adjustment liquidity adjustment facility okay so under which uh, all these crr slr uh, repo rate repo rate and reverse repo rate falls into okay so these are some of the terms associated with uh, associated with uh, monetary policy all right i i hope it it helps okay. thank you so much for your time thanks a lot